was quite frustrating in a sense, as we only relied on uh, traditional resources, uh, whether we had to use atlases, the textbooks, and obviously we could use the internet, but I was always very concerned about having uh, accurate data and accurate mapping, really, in my lessons. Prior to being at this school, I was teaching geography without the use of GIS. And so to cover off the ICT factors, we do things such as making videos and creating PowerPoints. But I found that the children really engage with GIS because it actually gives them a fuller picture of what they're actually studying without actually having to take them out of the school environment. I discovered ArcGIS online really through uh, looking on the internet and looking for the, the real package that will allow us to use uh, GIS in a more kind of user-friendly uh, user way. I went to a training course with uh, uh, the FSC at uh, Juniper Hall and uh, that really was a really good insight in uh, uh, the practicality of using ArcGIS online. ArcGIS has been really easy to learn how to use. It's not taken hours after school. I've spoken to my head of department prior to a lesson. He's gone over it with me and it's been very straightforward. GIS is now part of GCSE, it's part of A-Level. It's one of the skill sets that geographers of today have to, to practice and be confident with uh, when they take exams. Recently we used ArcGIS for our case study on the River Tees. We used the Ordnance Survey maps which meant that we were able to look at the locational features around the River Tees as well as the landforms. There's a brilliant thing on ArcGIS where you can drop a pin with a picture and an illustration and then that way the students were able to show, for example, the waterfall high force and then they were allowed to put a picture on there and put down how the waterfall had been formed. So it's a revision aid as well as their original learning aid because that is going to be accessible for their whole GCSE course. So it's, it's really nice to see them engaged with that. We've also started our resource management unit of work and we've been plotting food miles so we've been using a carbon footprint calculator and then using it to map all the different food types and it's also in proportion to the amount of carbon footprint so it's a very visual way of them understanding um, the impacts of importation and exportation. It's easy to use, it makes things a lot easier when you're out on field works, um, you don't need to carry around paper, you can do it all through technology it means that you have a database that everything's stored in one place and if you lose it, it's backed up. It makes the whole process of um, doing the field work so much quicker and so much easier. And it's a really, really quite useful tool. Yeah, we've done story maps to show case study data that we've collected or we went out on field work and gathered data using the collector apps. My uh, favourite part is the, all the information that you can access. And on a normal map, it's not much information the height, the grading of the roads and that's it. On ArcGIS there's literally everything from the population in that area to the amount of buildings, business sites, in the seas, the fish density, anything you can think of is on there. It's a lot more practical. You can kind of see what you're doing instead of just writing down something that you, doesn't bring anything to you. It feels like rewarding. From a revision point of view it's fantastic because you've just got everything there. And, you, know, you just log in and there's all your maps you've done over the last year. I would wish that more schools engage with uh, GIS so we can all work together and share our experience and share our, the way we use the technology and our GIS online in our day-to-day -day teaching. All of my generation like using technology in lessons so when Sarah's like, oh, going on GIS today, it's a bit of a, oh, yay. They're writing in books today, so yeah, it's quite refreshing in a way. Making ArcGIS free, I think, is just actually a gift for Geography GCSE. It's going to allow the children to access more information, to be more engaged with their course, and it's a proper skill to take away with them as well.